Agua! Yeah, we're... Definitely. We're feeling like we're tired of uh, not being around water. So, we're, we went and we bought a two-week pass for the LTV down here in Arizona, which gives us access to what they call the Imperial Dam. So that's where we're heading. And we do have a couple friends there. I'm not sure if we're gonna be camping with them or not, but hopefully we will be seeing them. Sorry, the sun is right in front of us. It's so, slowly going down, but it's a beautiful day. I can't see you guys at all. All right, so, I'll just show you guys a little bit of the drive and then we'll see you guys when we get to the dam. So Imperial Dam is actually in California and it is 72 miles from the LTVA South um, in Quartzsite. So a little over an hour to get there. Okay, so there's the boat ramp. So I guess go in that. Oh, there's dump station and water this way. Okay. So everything's this way. I, the yeah, <laughs> we're new to this, so we're, we're learning. This is a new experience for Scotty and I. In 600 feet, turn left. So we don't have. LTV. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the left. I think it's all, this is all paid area. You have to, this is all fee area. Oh, look at those mountains. Wow. This is the lake. I want to get right down there on that beach. I don't know how you get down there, but that's where I want to go. So there's a road there. And I'm assuming that a lot of people are not down there because my understanding is, is that the mosquitoes are really bad here. Boy, lots of potable water stations. Lots of garbage containers. Your destination is on the left. Of roads out there. See, look, you can go all over there. All right, well, we drove down here to the water. Scotty is over asking a gentleman exactly what permit we have to have to be down here. We're kind of thinking this is not part of LTBA. So Scotty's going to go find out. Area, so this is a whole different pass and it's $75 for a year or whatever uh, annual so you can come down here but you can only stay 14 days and then you have to go somewhere else for 14 days and come back so a lot of people have this and then they have the LTVA here so they go back and forth back and forth oh. is what he was saying so that 14 days you can be here 14 days but then how many days do you have to be away? 14 days from 14 days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. So they go from here to there to, to here up to there. there. Yeah. And he said okay. um, Hurricane Ridge up there is a that's right over here is a nice place and that's where he was. And that's LTVA? Yes. Okay. And this all up here is LTVA. Okay. So all up on top of the hill but not yeah. down here by the water. No. No. Okay. But you can get he said um, you can pay like $15 a night to stay down here Okay. Um, or I thought he said it was free if you wanted to come down for the day. Okay. But we can read that. We'll I thought day use see. said something. It, there was a day oh, use no. fee. What he did say, he said, day use, since you have the LTVA, you can, that is good for the day use here. Oh, okay. So, All right. 
and he did say there's no cell service here. Yes, there is none. <laughs> okay. So up to the top of the hill. Okay, or we can pay fifteen dollars, whatever right. you want to do, but not tonight. Okay. Um, see the donkeys up there? I do see them up there. Uh -huh. Oops. Ah, oh, cute. So we can go that way over, and uh, okay, just for the night. He, yeah, okay. that's where he was saying he stayed for two weeks, and then he came. Back but there's here. no water there. It's just a view. But he said you just walk across the, the road up here. Then okay. The water. All right. Morning, everybody. Hola. So yesterday, last night, we didn't film anymore. We kind of cut you guys off. It got kind of dark. We were up here on the hill on this back side of the lake, and we couldn't really see anything. So we turned around. We went back into L LTVA, yep. which is Long-Term Visitor Center area. area. And then today, we started talking to some people, figuring out what exactly... Um, is all around here. So we're driving down the back side of this lake that you do have to have a different permit um, than the LTVA permit. So we've bought that so we can get on the lake because if you just have the LTVA permit, you can't get on the lake. And we well, just, you can for the day. You, you can't, can for the day. You have to leave by With dark. your permit, but you have to leave. Yeah, exactly. Um, we want to get on the lake. So I'm going to show you where we're going. And then Scotty will kind of explain the permitting stuff so that if you come to Arizona and you want to go to the LTBA or you want to come out to these lakes and you'll know how to do it because we had to yep. do a little I think we'll do a special <laughs> video just about this pass. <laughs> Maybe. It's the secret pass. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I got to pay attention because we're back here on these roads. There's no markings. A gal stopped us and said, are you looking for a great site? She just left it, so we're going to trying to find it so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you where we're going that's why it's all munchy munchy yeah it's a little bumpy out here all kinds of big areas where you could camp out and have a view of the lake. It's really not that bad of a road. No, people were telling us that you needed four-wheel drive to get here, but I haven't seen anything that would really require four-wheel four drive, do you? I mean... Not yet. Then again, maybe if you're hauling a heavy trailer up one of those hills, you might want to, you know. Yeah, but I, I've seen, cla I saw a Class A over here on the lake, so yeah. we'll see. It's a pretty desert, deserty, dusty out this way, but hopefully the sight on the lakes are better. Okay, so. We've already got our permit. So this is the first site she said was really good. Um, there's a picnic table down there. Oh, a and a fire pit. Well, there's a couple sites right there. Nice. Some actual trees. <laughs> right? Oh, they're leaving. So there's quite a few sites right there, actually. She said to ask them where their camp is. She said it's across from them. Oh, there's the, okay. <laughs> we're trying to figure out where we're going. So she said there were workers here cutting trees and we would pass these airstreams. So we're almost there. Past their campsite. Yep, past these guys' campsite. And she said, and then it would be, there's more airstreams there too. that fire would be Oh, I don't know, we could ask. You're right, out of here. Yeah, they got it stacked up for you. They have, look at that, free firewood. Sweet. All 
right, we've come to the dead end road. <laughs> so, turn around. I think we missed the road she was talking about. Boy, they really cut a lot of trees down. Oh, she said on the inlet, private little area on the inlet, nobody could see ya. Oh, sorry guys, it's really bouncy. <laughs> I think you gotta go here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she said go up past the second one. Second one, but where? I don't know where you would go. No, there's no. All right, we found the workers' camp. <laughs> and then she said you go up over. Oh, is it right here? Yep, it's right here. So next to there. And she said you got your own little private beach, but how do you get down there? It's pretty easy. Oh, nice. Well, you guys aren't going to believe it, but we pulled into the one site and then these people in a Jeep came down and said there's a great site down here and they're taking us to the site that the gal talked about. Look at this. That was so nice of them. Thank you so much. There's, there's this one right here or right here. They're beautiful. Thank oh, you so much. Wow, wow. Okay, so we can go down there. It's a dead end, so you, I don't think you'll have much uh, no. traffic going by. Thank you, guys. Thank you so, yeah. yeah, that's what we want. That's a great spot right there. Thank you. Little dog. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think? No, well, she, she's not in the water. All right, we found our very own private little inlet. We do have donkey mess right there, though. The donkeys do come out here. And then that's our spot. That was a coyote. Oh, he is really close. I got my baby in my arms. Don't worry, baby. Mama's got ya. I got ya. They won't get you. Right there, it's clear for watering time. Yeah. Well, we're just sitting by the fire. There was some uh, leftover wood out here, and they're cutting those bushes down. And uh, they've done a little bit of clearing here, so we've just been raking up and cleaning the area up a little. Scotty's got the rake. Hey, I don't know if this will burn. Yeah, that's what was on top to begin with. Just making it look better for the next person that comes in. See, they're walking different lines. The one's walking up higher than the other one. Oh. And then the last one, he'll probably go way back down low, too. Oh, yep. Yep, so he's going down lower. Oh, crazy. That's pretty cool. Everything lives by the water. Well, we've been close to him before. Yeah. What you think, Pumpkin? What you think, huh? I'm a no man now. <laughs> it's like Wild Kingdom out here. <laughs> National, yeah, Geographic. National Geographic. <laughs> <Yeah>. There's life. <laughs> now we just need an orca to come up through the, our little sound right here. And... <laughs> There's a the blue heron over there. That's the one I think they scared off. <laughs> oh. Not sure what the squawking part's about, but. Yep. Well, I can see some fish jumping now. There's little rings all over. Bugs or something. Aaron's just sitting right there. Oh, here comes the other one. I think they saw him. It's okay, boy. I'm not going to hurt you. 
You are a wiggle worm. <laughs> you got a wiggle worm in you, huh? You see your wiggle worm in there? <laughs> I think so. I think so, Miss Pumpkin. <laughs> I'll get your nose. I'll get your nose. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> you are. You are just a wiggle worm. Yes, you are. Sweet girl. Just waking up, aren't you? Huh? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Are you shivering, huh? You need a bath. You need a bath. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> She's really a wiggle worm. She's not a dog. <laughs> You're a wiggle worm. Well, that water is. Dropped a little bit more since I came out and filmed it the last time. He's got the truck. Uh... Oh, he's leaving me. <laughs> now he's rolling off the off the uh, blocks that we have. This has been just an absolutely perfect campsite for us. It's been fun. It's been relaxing. The wildlife here is fun. Never never got to see. We didn't get to see the. Uh, burrows down here. Just the one that was up on the hill that you guys probably couldn't see. Pumpkin, you ready to go? <laughs> Pumpkin's in the front, ready to go. I would say if you get a chance to come down here, this is, uh, this is just a really nice place. Are you ready? like to be on the other side of that uh, glass. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, you ready to travel? Huh? Okay, get in your bed. Get in your bed. Oops, let me get the keys. Good. Go. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. We're going to go. <laughs> just want to back that way. When we came in here, there's a branch up there that they didn't, that some, it looks like actually somebody might, must have hit it. Definitely not a place that we would be camping um, if we had a fifth wheel. So, in the comments of the last video, not the last video, a couple videos back where we are looking at fifth wheels, um, we are keeping that in mind. We've always had campers, so... It would be a new experience for us not being able to go, okay, oops, sorry guys, uh, into some of the places that we've always gone. You're good. Oh, you're okay, is this a small one? Good job, babe. All right, guys, time to roll. We'll see you guys in another video.